Hello guys, my name is Andres Sava, and today I will be discussing the experiment of the balloon, salt, pepper, and static electricity. The materials that we will be using today will be uh, table salt, pepper, and a balloon. What is static electricity? Static electricity is an imbalance of electric charges within or on the surface of a material or between materials, meaning that it's an imbalance between negative and positive charges in an object. In this slide, we will be watching a video of me uh, doing the experiment. As you can see here, the balloon is filled with air, and I'm rubbing it against my hair. That is, will create uh, a negative charge on the balloon. When a balloon is wrapped on the hair, the free electrons from when atoms lose an electron jump directly onto the balloon and produces the negative energy of the surface on the balloon meaning that the balloon will have a negative charge now. Here we have the mixture of salt and pepper, and I'm putting the balloon closer to the mixture. We see some of the pepper flakes jumping onto the balloon, and also some of the salt jump onto the balloon. Um, Another thing that we can observe here is that some of the pepper flakes jump onto the balloon and then fly off away, which we'll be, we'll be discussing later why this happens. Salt and pepper on the balloon. Some observations that we saw earlier in the video were the pepper jumping out of the mixture and sticking on the, uh, onto the balloon. And that happens because the pepper polarizer much easier than the salt. And it's easier for the pepper to jump out of the mixture. Negatively charged balloon attracts neutrally charged surfaces such as pepper. Another reason that that might happen and it was easier for the pepper to jump out of the mixture and not the salt is because the pepper is lighter than the salt. In the video, we also noticed that some salt also jump out of the mixture and stick onto the balloon. And that is normal because, as we said earlier, both uh, salt and pepper are neutrally charged and attracted by the negatively charged balloon. The reason that that might happen is because either I hold the balloon closer to the mixture and that it was easier for the salt also to jump onto the balloon. Another reason is that I hold the balloon for a longer period of time closer to the mixture and that ended in not only attracting pepper but also attracting salt. And the last reason that that might happen is I use uh, sea salt and I crushed the salt before I created the mixture of salt and pepper. So I'm assuming that some salt particles were larger or smaller than other salt particles um, and that created an imbalance in the mixture resulting in some salt particles to be as light as pepper, that's why they were jumping uh, out of the mixture together with pepper and sticking onto the balloon. In the video, we also noticed that some pepper and salt jump up to the balloon and then fly off, and that happened because both pepper and salt grabbed an electron of the negatively charged balloon and suddenly became negatively charged. And as we said earlier, negatively charged ob object and a positively charged ob object attract each other together but when you have a negatively charged object and a negatively charged ob object repel each other that's why 
we saw the pepper and the salt sticking onto the balloon and then fly off. This is an ideal experiment to um, examine the how static electricity would work and to in, uh, in neutrally uh, mixtures, I would say. Uh, but it wouldn't be uh, precise to use this experiment on the balloon to separate two mixtures, uh, in, to compound in a mixture uh, of uh, different mass. I would say to use something else because it's not as accurate as other uh, experiments. 